And the next part is part six, and that is a variation on that. And instead of going, we're going up to the second and third and uh, sort of playing a little bit of a, a descending line on the third string. So, riff six, strings one, two and three open, play them twice, then the bass on the open fifth string. So remember, end of part two ends with that, so. Followed by open second and third strings and third fret of the first string. And we play them fast, so three times. Then we move to the fifth fret of the third string, open second string. Then the third fret of the third string, open second string. That's not really a descending line, it goes back up. Descending and ascending line. Uh, so then we go to the fourth fret. So that's fifth fret, third string, open second string. Third fret, third string, open second string. Fourth fret, third string, open second string. Then the bass note on the fifth, open fifth. And keep your finger there on the fourth fret because you play that again. So open second string, fourth fret of the third string. Then we go back to that fifth fret of the first string, open second third. Play them fast four times. This is exactly the same as the end of the other riff. So open fifth string while you play first string, third fret, second string open, third fret, sorry not fourth, so third fret, pull off and then bend on the third string and we're back to riff two again, so hold the bend, then See what I mean? Once you've learnt riff two, that's that's half of the song um, taken care of. And then the very final part is the outro, and that starts off as if you're going to do part two again. But instead of going down to that fifth open, you play well as well as going down to open fifth string, you play open fourth and open third string. Then you leave a gap of a beat, and then you play open sixth and fifth. Then third fret, uh, leave a gap of another beat, third fret, th uh, sixth string, open sixth string after a gap of another beat, and then after another gap of a beat, so we're slowing down now for the very end of the song, it's open fifth and third strings. And then you leave a two beat gap for the very final strike, which is open first string and open fifth string. And that's it. Divine Blues by Charlie Patton.